I'm Blaine Carter, and together we're going to be exploring the what, why, and how of open source technologies. This is just a quick video on how to install OpenHAB, which is open source automation software for your home. All right, to get started, let's jump over and take a look at the documentation. And in there, we're going to take a look at the user's manual. Now, I will be installing my OpenHAB on a Raspberry Pi 2, which I have loaded with Raspbian, um, which means that we're going to be following the Linux installation instructions. Regardless of your level of expertise with the operating system you're installing on, it's always a good idea to read through all of the documentation before you get started. Uh, you can do that on your own. So let's just jump down and do a quick overview of what we're about to do. So if we jump to the installation section, the first thing we're going to do is add the repository key to the package manager. I want to install the stable release, so I'm going to add the stable repository to my system app sources list and then once that's done we'll do an app get update and then we'll install OpenHAB2 and OpenHAB2 add-ons. I've opened a VNC session into my Raspberry Pi and rather than make this a demonstration of how wonderfully Blaine types I'm just going to copy and paste the commands directly from the documentation. So the first thing we want to do is add the repository key to the package manager. Now that's done, we want to add the stable repository to the system sources list. That's quick and easy. So I'm going to speed the video up for all of the apt-get commands so you don't have to sit through all of that. And of course the first command we want to do is an apt-get update. Now we're going to do an apt-get install openhab2. And there are a lot of really cool add-ons out there already pre-built, so we're going to go ahead and apt-get install the openhab2-add-ons. And with that, we are installed. The add-ons are installed. Let's jump back out to the documentation to see how to turn this thing on. The Raspbian version that I'm using supports the system D system control command, so we'll just scroll down to here. Uh, basically, we're going to sudo system control start the service. We're going to check the status. Then we want it to auto run whenever the system reboots. So we're going to do a daemon reload followed by enable the service to set it up to always boot. So let's jump back over to our Raspberry Pi and see how it works. All right, first of all, we want to start the service. So we're going to do a sudo system control start the service. That fires up pretty quick. Let's double check that it actually worked. We'll check the status of the service, and we can see that it is active and running. Now, of course, like I said before, we want this to auto start on boot. So we'll do a daemon reload followed by enable the service on boot. All right, there you go. We have installed OpenHAB2, we've installed the add-ons, and we've set it to auto run on boot. Let's drop back over to the browser and see what we've got. It might take a couple minutes to get all the setup and configuration finished depending on the uh, speed of your system, but once that's all done, you can point to the IP address for where you installed OpenHAB, go to port 8080, and you should get this screen if everything worked correctly. Now you can go check out the documentation to figure out which package you'd like to start with or you know, just start from scratch and build your own, but I'm going to go into the demo package just for a um, quick display of what we get. This part can also take a few minutes to get through installing all of the UIs, so I'm going to fast forward ahead to when this part's done. All right, now that the demo package is done installing the uh, demo UIs, you can see that you wind up with a HAB panel, the basic UI, the REST API. Uh, it's very interesting. You want to go in there and check that out. And the paper UI. 
So let's just jump into Hab Panel real quick and see how pretty this thing can be. I'm going and turn lights on and off. It's got a bunch of pre-configured items are not really linked to anything. This is just, of course, for demonstration. But as you can see, it is working. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for spending your time with me.